Hey guys, you are watching Naughty Styles. Today we are on board of a very interesting vessel. She was built in 2002, but the amount of upgrades on this yacht is mind-blowing. So we felt like we absolutely must show it to you. Welcome aboard this 2002 Symbol 80. Coming up. Good size swim platform. I like how they put it here just to show you this could be a really nice sundowner spot. I totally dig the oversized staples. I mean, they're really thick, solid staples, so it makes you feel pretty safe on the swim platform. Yeah, let's go up and get away from the squeaky dog. Yeah. So we have a better sound here. Of course, our entrance to the engine room is right there. Absolutely. And crew. Yep, and crew area, All right, which we're gonna go see up. later. Shore power inlet right here staircase up into the cockpit oh it's nice here nice breeze here wow this is a really good size cockpit so of course they have these oversized chairs but if you have a normal size chairs you can easily have dinner with eight people here absolutely yeah right now it's set for like six seven people pretty open space there's nothing else entertainment bar wise here because the flybridge was completely redone and is so cool there's so many cool things there so just wait hang in to see the flybridge it's worth it well also since we're already here the hard top here or the roof was extended all the way to this portion here so that was all added this is a pretty huge undertaking it's a big job to do this extension and uh, what it added to the flybridge is just so cool and i think it also gave the yacht sort of a timeless kind of a modern upgrade that it needed for sure this table is brand new speaking of upgrades uh, well, I heard all tables are brand new. Yes, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Little bottle locker here. Mm -hmm. Some more storage. Same on the other side. And uh, should we go forward real quick? Sure. All right, let's pop in there. Look nice. how nice and safe this is. Comfortable walkway, nice overhang again, overhead. Big windows, so we'll see them from interior. We have a side entrance to our pilot house coming forward. Wow, this is storage locker. big. Yep. Very nice. And our bow. So of course these were oh, new unique. added. If you know how you use your boat, I could see that you're like, you know what? This is how we use it and this is what we want. And I think it's aesthetically maybe not everybody's thing, but if it's practical and you really use it, that's what matters. Because if your boat is beautiful, but it's not practical, you're never gonna enjoy your boat. No, I agree. And instead of having just this typical layout pad, which is in there, yeah. um, I think this is a lot more. I'm pretty sure they'd I spend mean, a lot of time hanging out here or they wouldn't have I here. would. So we also have a little um, table here in the front that, of course, it's all foldable. All can be put away and stored away. Uh, what do we have here? A very large stainless steel anchor. Anchor chain going over here. Let's open up one side so we can take a look at the anchor locker. The anchor locker is actually on the other side. This is a storage unit as well as we have salt and fresh water washed down here. Check out the anchor locker quick. Oh wow, it's really deep. There's a lot stored in there for now. Lots of storage and an anchor chain lockers right underneath. Perfect. Let's go and check out the interior. We have another storage here. I think we're gonna go up and check out this massive upgraded flybridge. Welcome! Wow! <laughs> if this doesn't wow. scream super yacht, this yacht's technically a uh, super yacht by definition, you guys, by the size because it's 80 feet. So, yeah, how about this extension? I would say that was a must. That's pretty amazing. So, we have some foldable furniture here that, of course, can be put away. We have a 1750 pound crane here, steelhead steel marine. Steel? Steelhead marine. And then we also have some kayaks. I mean, the owner of this yacht is, you could just tell, is meticulous. We saw the records that he gave to the broker for this yacht for the show. It is nuts, you guys. It is so well organized. It is definitely the type of owner you want to buy a yacht from. It's very impressive. It's got perfect holders for everything. That's going with the boat. Um, we also have 
stand up paddle boards that are going with the boat. There are two tenders that come with this boat. So the one you guys saw in the water, and also there's another 14 foot Navarania that could live up here. That one we saw in the water is a towable. That is a big tender for sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so what else did they do here? So this extension, obviously brilliant. They added this sunshade, which is absolutely gorgeous. We have a really nice barbecue here. Check this out. And, and this is custom built. So yeah. just that you guys know, it's fiberglass, it's custom built. This whole section is custom built, so yeah. it's just really, really cool. Knowing how much this cost, you guys, this was a pretty big expense. As well as the hard top, which is also custom. Yes. So we have some storages here as well. And this whole thing, I mean, wait. So this is custom, this little bar they built in. How cute is that? I love this. This is such this, a cool feature. Yeah, and a, and a nice spot for it. Very different. And then also the custom hard top that Rico was talking about. <sighs> I don't even want to think about how expensive that was. Yeah. This is a big upgrade for a boat to have such a nice hard top. Amazing. All right, before I go any further. I mean, this is such an extension of your living space. This is like the perfect flybridge, honestly. Hold on, I'll be uh, right back. Give me one second. I just wanted you guys to show you that just the spec list of upgrades. Look, 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 this is nuts. Recent improvements broken down by year. This is all flybridge. It's got cherry wood cutting surfboard, 30 inch built-in barbecue, table sitting for up to eight, step captain's chairs. I mean, I can't even. It just goes on and on. It is insane, you guys. This is, might be one of the thickest listings uh, I've ever seen. Walk us through all the stuff we have right here. All right, here. let's see. What is this? Storage. No, but what's that? A fridge? That is a little fridge. Oh, wow. And it looks like there's a freezer underneath here. Oh yeah, top loading freezer. Yeah, really nice. So that's just the access from the front, for, from right? The, yeah, for the freezer. That's yeah. the access to the little fridge here. Of course, we have cover stored in there right now. Another fridge? Yeah, that's a wine cooler. So we're gonna open this from the front. But they did it really smart. So you still have the upper opening door there. So you can actually store stuff on the side. Very clever. Okay, and here, of course, this whole thing is custom. This is a wolf to burn a cooktop, mm -hmm. which you guys know is cost a pretty penny. So this is a total outdoor kitchen here. Something we absolutely- I would use that all the time. Adore. I mean, imagine making breakfast here, how cool, you know? Just make your eggs, your toast. I mean, it's got everything. So we got big storage here. Of course, there's big butcher block here, all custom. Fridge, sink, absolutely must have. Uh, some drawers here for storage and another big storage here. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, yeah. Yeah, I out of like a full-blown kitchen, the only thing is missing is an oven and a dishwasher. Yeah. All right. So, so then we have our exterior dining area here. Again, all custom, all this whole thing. I mean, I, I could tell that they just built all this in. It's pretty amazing. It's got storage everywhere underneath. There's big compartments all around. It does feel like a bigger boat. And also pretty high headroom here. Yeah, definitely. The right. headroom is fantastic. Very, very beautifully done. Yeah, I mean, this is a ginormous flybridge. You definitely don't feel the age of this vessel at all. It's and, really well done. And there we see the other tender, which comes with the boat sitting right down there in the water. It says a tender to safari on there. It's a tight water center console with two of the Yamaha engines in the back. All right, so this is our upper helm. What do we got here, Rico? Well, first of all, brand new helm chairs. You mentioned that already. Very nice. Then lots of upgrades. We got shift and throttle controls here on the starboard side. We have a yacht controller, which was also one of the upgrades. Mm -hmm. Flare camera, stabilizers, stabilizing fins, upgraded Ferrono electronics on the boat. Our MTU engine monitors right here, rudder indicator, engine start stop buttons, Faruna autopilot control. So the boat is outfitted with the Maritron system. Right now we have the depth display, but we can also look up our voltages and amperage drawings on the batteries, fuel levels, etc. So you can pick up stuff there. We've got an ICOM VHF radio fusion stereo, our high water alarm indicator lights right there. Then our light switches here and a searchlight as well as a chain counter, our anchor windless remote control right here. 
I am just gonna point out that there's no way you make a mistake here with this very obviously tiny buttons, tiny buttons <laughs> to indicate what stop, what start. I agree, I agree. Did you mention the TV? I did not mention the TV yet, so there's also a TV It is here. definitely there. And then we have a very safe access to the helm directly from here. So I almost feel like we should take that staircase down and then work our way back from the pilot house. What do you think? Shall we? Yeah. Okay, you guys can do two homes back to back. You guys let's, okay with that? Let's mix it up a all little right, bit. All right, let's do it. Let's just go down. It's a really nice staircase. There's a little storage here. All right, so since we did do it like this, we're gonna walk all the way back to the salon. Little unconventional way for you guys. And we're gonna start here. All right, so we're in the salon. It's a very large space. As Rico pointed out earlier to me, underneath the carpet is a gorgeous teak. Yeah, maybe we I can mean, lift up a corner here. It is yeah. beautiful. There we go. So it's nicely protected by this carpet, which I really like that because you can easily remove it. You yeah. can replace it with anything you want, but the teak is really nicely protected. So we have this freestanding couch here, which of course could be changed into anything else you guys would like if you get this boat. So and this one is pretty large. It's very large, but like I personally probably would like something I could like put my feet on as well. You know, maybe like a little bit of an L shape. I think it would be nice. But you have enough open space here to so much space rearrange, change things. Yeah, the woodwork is gorgeous, you guys. I mean, we have been wanting to tour Symbol for a while for you guys because it is a shipyard with good reputation and they build quality boats. So this is really nice. All right, so we have a bar here. Mm -hmm. Oh, full bar. Pop-up TV, right? Is it a pop-up? Yeah, yep. yeah, it's a pop-up TV from right here. Exactly. There's some more storage all the way here as well. And then a little sitting area for two. Again, it's all freestanding furniture, so you can kind of do whatever you like. I mean, that's kind of cool. Like, if you're just a couple and you own an operator, you spend time on the table. Yeah, probably. It's also Maybe great. Have a like, tea, you have a coffee. Pop your computer, do, do a yeah. little work. Pretty yeah. nice. Then we have a bar area that continues into the galley, and there's a little bit of storage there, and of course, two bar stools here. In the galley, which is completely open to the salon, pretty nice. We got a big fridge. Wow, nice. Looks like a bit of an extension of our pantry. Yep, there's some dishware here, some drawers. And then we have a big oven, a five burner cooktop. I mean, whoever owns this boat likes to cook. <laughs> oh, has a really good chef. Oh, has a really good chef. That's very true. Okay, and then we also have some extra storage here, some drawers and some cutting boards and stuff stored here. This thing slides. Oh yeah, tons of storage in there. And look, it's got light and everything. Really bright LED yep. light in there, yeah. No, I think somebody likes to cook. This is a very large sink and also a garbage disposal with a smaller sink here. Upper storage all the way on top here. Uh-huh. Microwave continues on. Another corner unit. Some drawers. My friend dishwasher. And some more upper storage here. Really nice, you have a good visibility while you're cooking here. And this is a very wide countertop. Really nice. I like it. Great galley. Okay, now we go two small steps up and we're in our interior helm, which is also completely open aft. So when you're standing here, you could see all the way aft. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it continues all the way through, which is kind of cool. Like if you want like to entertain, you have multiple hangout spots, but you're still all connected to each other. Oh, well, say if you're, you know, you have friends over and you're cruising with them for a few days, you know, you making way longer distances, you know, longer passages. That is uh, definitely kind of cool because it's all right here. Like you always say, like, you know, you can just go and make a coffee and you're not separated. It's pretty nice. So it looks like that the uh, lower helm is not really used that much. I yeah. think most of the time the boat will probably be driven from the upper helm. I mean, why wouldn't right? you? It's so nice there. Uh, but nevertheless, we have everything we have up on top. We pretty much have down here too. We got two Ferruno chart plotters here, bow and stern thruster control, rudder indicator, of course, ignition buttons, windshield wiper controls, VHF radio. Then as well as our Westmar stabilizer fins, the control is right here. Fusion stereo, another monitor. Then to our port side here, we do have a switch panel for the low voltage switches right there. Here on the starboard side, we have a switch panel for bilge pumps some pumps, some lights like navigation lights, as well as the battery indicators and monitors. All right, so then we also have some storage here, some drawers, 
some other storage underneath the sitting area there. Oh, okay, there's more storage. Access yeah. here behind the panel, total mm -hmm. crawl space here. Yeah, very nice. Okay, are you ready for something cool? Yes. Oh, this is a great location. Yes, very good location for a dayhead. Great yeah. place to hide from the guests you don't like. But also on the way, really convenient. I mean, Flybridge is right up there. Lower Helm is right here. It's a quick really stop. great location. Quick pit stop. Pit stop. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go check out the cabins. Cool, looking forward to it. Okay, let's go. Hold on, I found something for you. A very large switch panel, as well as generator, remote control, water maker, remote control, and of course, like we said, all kinds of breakers here, low and high voltage breakers. Nice staircase here. All the beautiful wood is protected with a carpet. Mm -hmm. So if you buy this yacht, it's pretty guaranteed it's pretty good condition underneath there. It drops us off kind of right in the middle between all the cabins and they're kind of U-shaped around us. So we're gonna go all the way forward, just so we can keep our bearings. And this is our VIP cabin. Oh, well, it's comfy. Yeah, I'm up on this uh, wow. about a foot step up. Very good headroom. Even though it's all the way forward, you can easily make your bed. You can pretty much get all the way there. That's a nice little feature here. So we have all the storage compartments here. Drawers. Look how wide this yeah, that's is. That's what I was just wondering. And then it's beautifully finished with the wood. You really feel the beam even in the forward cabin, which is usually a little bit more cramped and you kind of expect it from it, right? Mm -hmm. Is there anything behind the door? Of course there Little is. Little closet. Yeah, we've got some shelves here. With games. We've got more shelves, drawer. This was probably TV space before. Look, they Originally, reused it. Yeah. And they put a flat screen in here. Oh, okay, got it. So yeah. it's still TV in there. Yeah, yeah, there's a flat screen. And then drawers right here as well. We also have some drawers underneath the bed. And. Uh, there's a walk in closet. It's very good. Wow, look at all this. It's all cedar. I think this was probably also custom done. Look, you can close all of them. Did you see that? Oh, this would be a very nice closet. Really like it. And then we have a full size mirror. And we're going to go to our ensuite. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so we have a one person shower. Beautifully finished. Here. Yeah, it's a pretty timeless design of this yacht. So I don't feel the age. I think it's really well done. And then here we have some storage, deep storage actually for linen. Well done. Oh, wow. Our porthole is there. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Pretty big countertop. Yeah, and some space underneath the sink as well. And this head is actually shared with our midship guest cabin. So this guest cabin has, I think it's a full bed. So two people can definitely sleep in it. But of course, for one person, that would be a perfect cabin. Mm -hmm. We have a little ladder to get up there. Ladder there to get up there. The reason we can put it away is because here, Hold on, I have a good inkling about this. Aha, uh -huh. check it out. Oh, separate washing machine Washer and, and dryer. dryer. Yeah, this is basically a really nice laundry room slash maybe a guest can stay in here. <laughs> but if I was a little bored, man, this would be used all the time. What a great cabin, right? And then here we also have some storage, just as big on double tight. I mean, okay. it goes all the way here. You can yeah. see that, right? Yeah. And there's a bit more storage underneath there as well. Shall we check out the master? Before you enter the master, you can, you know, if you forgot something and you believe in superstitions, when you walk out of your master, you could look at yourself in the mirror. Any of you know about that superstition? No? Okay. Maybe it's just me. All right. Ready? Ta-da! Wow. That's a king size bed. Wow. It's tall. It's very cozy. So you got a full beam master. Yeah. All I see is storage. I'm a little bit like, my eyes are going like, Do you guys see right. that? Do you see that side? Where do we start? Oof. Where do we start? I think here. I think we we'll start here. I'll just do it. Okay. Wow. That's a big old hanging locker. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then we have a little settee here. It's just like little, you know, sit down with your computer or something. If you don't want to be on the bed, you can have a little space here. And then another hanging locker. Oh, I'm sorry. Shelves. <laughs> Shelves, but it can be a hanging locker. I mean, it's equal size. Hanging locker? <laughs> it goes all the way in there. Wow, this is insane. Some more drawers here. Look how big they are. And TV. Oh, yeah. And it's on the swivel, so you can just oh, swivel out it. of here. Pretty smart. And actually using the space that yeah, was, yeah. you know, building TV back in the days. Very large mirror. Hi, Giant guys. Giant mirror. Drawers. I mean, this one's even lockable, so I'm not going to open it. So, yeah. His and mine. <laughs> Drawer here. Of course, your makeup station. You can also use it as a workspace. Look at the size of those drawers. 
Oh wow. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Wow, this is so cool. Look at it, it goes all the way, no come in. Oh there's more. Look at this. Yeah, I think you would use that. And I really like how they did it. They've really used every possibility of a space so you can hang as many things as possible. I have a feeling a woman with a good closet was involved in the design of that closet. <laughs> oh. All right, en suite. Yes. So we're now on our starboard. Starboard side. So that would be the entrance to it. With our pocket door, come on in. Well, this is unique. I have oh, never wow. been on a yacht like this. So we have two dual vanity here, but kind of separated space. You have your own area with a shower, which, I mean, it is a pretty good size shower already. It's like a two person shower. I mean, you have two shower heads, so. I don't really know if you need a much larger shower. I mean, they could have done it different, right? They had like a big shower and then dual vanity this way. But this kind of gives you a space when you want to come out of the shower. And if you're sharing the, obviously mm -hmm. sharing this head, you go to your side and do your whatever you're gonna do you go to your side instead of being kind of in each other's space a little bit i like it it's different have some space underneath the sinks here and this also opens but it's so beautifully decorated i'm just gonna leave it <laughs> it's really nice locked oh really yeah. <laughs> against victoria <laughs> all right i'm just gonna assume there's some uh, other stuff stored and then in there. here's our head of course, and we have our head here. Yeah, very nice. What Pretty do we have choice. left? Engine room and crew quarters. Crew quarters. Crew quarters and engine room. Let's do it. We're gonna go all the way aft. Look, a great space for vacuum cleaner because you never know where to put that. Yeah. Damn thing. All right. So welcome to the crew cabin. This is definitely unique. I've not been in a crew cabin that looked like this. There's a separate cabin there with the doors, right? Yeah. And then this one is kind so of- So that's a twin, this is a single yeah, here. Yeah, this is so interesting. I'm just trying to figure this out. So this table, I guess, could go be put away, like the leg goes, and you can fold it down if you wanted to. And then you have little benches you can flip up. This is very clever. You could use to sit here for crew, just to, you know, like their little crew mess to actually have a space to work on the computer and have your own private space. Very nice. And then we have this bed. There's some storages here. There's a storage here, you guys. Yeah. That must be a captain on board. I saw a captain shirt. And you have a privacy curtain right here. Mm -hmm. So you can just close it up if the other person is going in and out of the cabin. And then on this side, we actually have Check this out. Have a double. I have never seen something like that. This is so interesting. So here we also have a bit of a storage space here and all of this is storage drawers. That looks like there's a hang locker over there. I don't know that's a hang locker. It's pretty small. <laughs> oh, shoot. I like that you said that and I opened it. This is why we open things. There's also another one on this side. Oh no, this is actually access. Check out this access to something. That's a cable reel. Oh yeah, right there. Interesting. So you can keep this open. And if you just have a captain on board, what a great space for a captain, right? Totally. We we'll also have a head, which I guess is shared. Wow, it's finished the same way with a separate shower. I mean, how amazing. Pretty cool. Yeah, so you have some storage here. You share this. Plenty of space. It's beautiful. And then on this side, we even have like a tiny little kitchen here with a fridge, a microwave, a bit more storage, you know, for some dishes in, and what's stuff. In there? Storage. Oh, Nespresso. Yep. And this ladder is to our escape hatch out in the cockpit. That's right. Okay. So the generator, I hear a loud noise. So yeah, tell us what's going on. Yeah, generator's running. The boat is not plugged in here at the boat show. So you're probably not going to hear much of my comments, but. Um, you're going to try to do I'll what try. you can. Okay, welcome to the engine room. Like I said, we have the generator running. So let me go away from the generator as what? much as I can. We got two MTU main engines here with 950 horsepower each. We got the fans running here too, but look, there's so much storage capacity here. Everything is nicely labeled the way it's supposed to be. Again, keep in mind, this yacht is built in 2002 and it is spotless. So coming aft, we have a workbench here above the starboard generator, sea recovery water maker right there. Look at all these drawers, everything is labeled, all the spare parts, fuses, etc. Pretty amazing. 
another workbench right here battery switches right there our hydraulic package right over there and cruise air chiller system as well for the crew quarters pretty cool Alrighty you guys, this completes our tour of this 2002 Symbol 80. I hope you found this massive list of upgrades just impressive. If you're interested in way more because we just didn't have the time to go through all of them, check out the listing. I'm gonna put a description underneath the video. Whoever owns this vessel is definitely a very, very nice owner and loved this boat dearly. I have no idea why he's selling it because it's absolutely beautiful, but he must have a reason. Maybe he's upgrading, who knows? So yeah, I'm doing this outro in the day head because I just really like it, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it can be your room. It's really nice. All right, you guys, like, subscribe, comment. All jokes aside, it really means the world to us that you guys do that, that you take the time to do the extra comments. Oh, God, Patreon, you guys are the best. We absolutely love you. We love our Naughty Crew Patreons. You guys are really and awesome. This boat is for sale. Again, all the information will be in the description underneath the video. And enjoy the outtakes. And check us out on Instagram. I thought you were going to say that. Check us out on Instagram and enjoy the outtakes. I don't know there were any on it. It felt very like... Yeah. Felt Didn't very you hit yourself in the head? That was a different boat. Oh, different boat. Never mind. <laughs> we had to stop and take a break for some kind of a weird sauce that you ate there just so he can function because he said he was too hangry and he just couldn't, and couldn't, need, couldn't and, go on. And now I desperately need a coffee. Now we're running to meet with all of you guys at our meetup. If you are at this meetup in Palm Beach show, when you're watching this later, hi to you all, it was nice meeting you. Ciao. Hey guys, you are watching, you're not watching me. I don't need to, the cameras. Hey, everyone's watching but you. Oh, you're taking a seat now? No, 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 no. Let's go, we have a lot to see. So yeah, I mean, I think you could do the uh, rest of the flybridge yourself. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So we have some foldable. I don't need you. I only maybe need you a little bit for the engine room. But that's only because people want to see you. Talk about visibility and all that stuff you do. Yep, it's really good. Okay. <laughs> that air condition is. Uh, it's very. Oh my god! Like I mean, it's like it's a, must be the coldest air conditioner. You're jumping I've ever been. like between the air conditioning oh. vents. Even though it's all the way forward, you can make your bed. I mean. So, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs>